everyone. We're continuing our walkthrough now of Lego Batman. This is part 34 of our Lego Batman walkthrough. In the last part, we we did the third part of In the Dark Night. And in this video, we're going to be fighting Killer Moth. Because you can tell, life-wise, Killer Moth has six. So, so yeah, you can tell in this video, we're going to be fighting Killer Moth. And I'm pretty sure after we finish this battle, we'll complete In the Dark Night. So yeah, we'll continue with In the Dark Night right now. And and we'll destroy the things for studs first. And you can tell we're fighting Killer Moth. And likewise, we just knocked it down by two. But, but now since you can tell Killer Moth just went up, we're going to destroy all the stuff for studs. And <laughs> it's kind of funny because you see there's a suit swapper here. But we're already in the suit that's that that's for this suit swapper because it's the demolition suit. Can you see that? That's a pretty funny coincidence, huh? So now the next thing you have to do is bring this bring this thing over here on this checkered floor over to here. And then I'm pretty sure you need to use a demolition to to do it. No? Huh. I think... But, but you can tell right now we're, we're just collecting studs. Oh, okay, so I bet you... Oh, that actually didn't work. I thought maybe we had to use our boomerang to do it. But now the next thing we have to do is use a demolition over here because inside here there's there's a suit swapper for Robin where he could change back and where he could change into his technology suit. Do you see it? And then you can tell we're destroying things for studs. And then Batman needs to use a demolition over here for these. And then you could tell we also have to do it over here. And then after you destroy all these three boxes, you could build. Ow! You could build. You could build the rest of this. Uh, the rest of this. Uh, this machine, the rest of this um, barrel over here, and then you could tell you could be fa you'll be facing some bad guys, and then you could use Robin with this technology panel to make this fan go. Let's try this again. Oh, so I have to keep holding B. That, now I get it. Oh, so I had to just hold B for quite a bit. And then that makes this, this, then that makes the levers be active. And then we could, then both Batman and Robin have to pull it. In order for, for this light bulb to come up or this light bulb to become yellow and to make Killer Croc or I mean to make Killer Moth come down so you can attack him again. But you can tell life-wise we just knocked it down by three again. And then you can tell then you'll be able to build this right one of this of this same barrel. And then that will make this then that then you'll realize some guys will come. Gotcha. 
And then, and then Robin can use his technology over here, and we just have to keep pushing. We just have to hold down B for quite a while. And then, or like five seconds or something. And then, and then you can tell it does the electro, and it does the electricity for the levers, and then both Batman and Robin can pull the levers again. And then you'll realize then that'll make the light be active in order to make killer killer moth in order to bring the life down on killer moth. And then you can tell that finishes the battle of killer moth. And and I'm pretty sure that completes. I'm pretty sure that completes in the dark night. Yep. And I think that's the last level, story-wise. And you can tell we got superhero for for this. So we So now according to the hero super kit, we're two thirds done. And then you can tell we're getting a lot of studs because of that big amount of studs we got from the level. Which is good because we need a lot for in order for the stuff we want to buy back at the back cave. And now you see mini kit wise, we found a fifth of them. And um and I think there's um so okay, so we'll say continue story. Well, I do know for a fact that finished in the Dark Knight, but but that doesn't finish the story quite yet. So see, now it's saying, The Joker's clown-like appearance and big smile hide a devious mind bent on creating as much trouble as possible for his arch-enemy, Batman. His airy, his array of... Weapons includes an electron, an electric hand buzzer, deadly machine guns, and laughing gas. So it's explaining about the Joker here because you can see his picture. Now I can't remember what this level is exactly that's opening. Keeps on shooting when only the first guy's finished. <laughs> he doesn't realize he has an ice cream cone instead of his gun. That's funny. Oh, okay, so this level's named to the top of the tower. So see, we're destroying stuff for studs again. And then you could tell, after you destroy this flower pot, you could build a ladder. And then you could get the studs over here. And then you could tell, over here's the civilian. So that was easy to find, don't you think? And then, and then you need to climb up this ladder. And then both Batman and Robin need to be pushing... And then you can tell you'll get on this bar. And then both Batman and Robin need to push these buttons. And then you can tell that that'll open this. And then you can get a mini kit. And eventually some pieces when Robin has is a track suit. But now the next thing you... The next thing is... You could tell we're destroying things for studs again.
And then you could tell we're facing some bad guys. And I didn't realize that according to these, the bad guys now are Joker henchmen. Instead of like the, um, the, like Riddler goon or Riddler, hen Riddler henchmen or something like that. But you could tell character-wise, it seems like we're gonna... It seems like we're gonna have a new one after we finish up this story. When we buy it in the Batcave. Eventually at the end. So see, you can tell we're destroying things for studs. And yep, over here is in a, in a track machine. So it's, so that can prove to you that it's going to be, well, you can tell we're just getting more studs. Oh, okay. And then there's a, there's the suit swapper, but eventually we're going to get that because we need to find out some way how to get up there. Like you see where the mini kit is? Because I'm wondering if there's a suit swapper over there. Or is it over here? Where by the attract machine. Or I wonder if we have to build it. Gosh, that gets me to thinking. Because I'm wondering. Because I see a lot of stuff that that is a, that is a bomb that's bomb like. But I'm wondering if there's a a nearby suit swapper. Oh, okay, so, so you can tell, yep, we have to destroy these trees back behind these two police trucks, and then it will build, then you can tell we're building a suit swapper for Batman, and I'm pretty sure it's his Yep, my instinct was correct. It would be his demolition suit. And now, and now, and now we can destroy all the silver things. Like, for example, that, so it could bring up, so we can get this, um, Magnetic wall for Robin, I'm guessing. And then... And then you could tell we... Oh! I didn't even see that. We could control a couple police cars. That's pretty impressive. But we can't do that just yet, because now the next thing we have to do is when Batman's in his demolition suit, we have to explode this in order for Robin to change into his magnet suit. And once Rob Robin changes, changes into his magnet suit, we're going to stop the video. But see, right now we're... Okay, so we have to destroy three dragons in order for us to get a mini kit. But now we'll make Robin change into his magnet suit up here. And we'll come over to the magnetic wall we found out. Like facing the way that the magnetic wall is and stop here. So yeah, most likely in this video we finished In the Dark Night and we're beginning on doing To the Top of the Tower. So yeah, that will end part 34 and I'll see you guys in part 35.